Hello and welcome to this video by Process Parameters, the UK distributor for Optris. In this video I will show you how to configure and use the temperature profiles feature in the PI Connect software supplied with your Optris PI thermal imaging camera. Temperature profiles are a way of visualizing temperature variation using graphical means rather than relying purely on the color gradients shown in the main thermal image. The profile graph can be useful in identifying and quantifying temperature variation along a line of pixels that could possibly be otherwise missed. By default, the temperature profiles are active within PI Connect when you first start the software with the standard layout. And you can see a horizontal graph along the bottom and a vertical graph at the side of the main thermal image. What is less clear is the lines of pixels to which these refer. So first of all, let us make them visible in the image. By entering the configuration menu and selecting the temperature profiles tab, we can now access the necessary settings. I will select show in image for both profiles. We can now see the relevant lines on the thermal image. In its simplest form, we can return to the main thermal image view and configure the lines to suit our needs. This is done by clicking and dragging the ends of the lines to a position that suits our needs. Note that although titled horizontal and vertical, there are no constraints on positioning the lines. As the lines are moved, the graphs immediately update to show the temperature along the line. I will now go through some of the other settings that you can use to customize the temperature profile function. Back in the configuration menu, I will explain each of the functions in turn. First of all, rather than clicking and dragging the lines within the thermal image, we can set very precise points for each end of the profile line by setting X and Y coordinates. The next tick boxes allow us to configure where each temperature profile is shown. If we wish, both profile lines can be superimposed on one another in one graph. The next set of settings relate to indicating alarm settings on the profile graph. If I show you the alarm tab, you can see that I have set high and low alarm settings for area one, which will allow me to demonstrate these functions. If I now select the first tick box, show alarm values of main measuring area, the values are shown on the graph. The same is available if pre-alarm settings have been configured. Now if I select the tick box use alarm and pre-alarm colors in the diagram, the graph line is now also color coded to the alarm state. So temperatures above the high alarm are shown red and so on. You can use any combination of these settings. On the right hand side of the configuration window are two scaling or ranging options. The first allows us to configure the temperature scale on the graph. The default is auto scaling, but we can fix this by clicking the radio button and setting the range as necessary.
The second scaling option relates to the scale of the line in relation to the image. The default is that the graph will fill the complete width of the window. But selecting Assign to Image constrains it to the same length as on the thermal image. The final settings relate to the automatic creation of a set of measuring areas that follow the line of pixels on the temperature profile. By clicking on the Bind Measure Areas to Profile we can easily configure this. Simply choose the profile line you wish to use to create the measuring areas for. Type in a prefix name that will appear in the measuring area name. Choose the style of measuring area you wish to create from the choice available. Enter the number of measuring areas you wish to create along the line. The width setting will auto-update, but you can change that if you require. You can also set the height of the measuring area if you've chosen a rectangular area at this point. And then finally, you need to choose a measuring mode you wish to use, either minimum, mean or maximum value from each of the measuring areas. Clicking Create will now automatically create the appropriate number of measuring areas spaced uniformly along the profile line. The measuring areas that have been created can be adjusted and configured by switching to the measuring area tab. These areas work in exactly the same way as a manually created measuring area and full details are available in the measuring areas video. It is important to note that whilst this video has been prepared on a video recording, the temperature profile function is just as useful on a live process. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions not covered here, then please do not hesitate to contact us. Details will be shown at the end. Thank you for watching.